Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody, on this Wednesday, May 24th. Wednesday, May 24th. Good morning, everybody. Another wonderful day, another wonderful day of living and breathing. And one more day to, to go slave behind the wheel of a dump truck. Time to get it done, my friends. Good morning to you. Do hope each and every one of you is doing wonderful this morning. I hope you're doing fantastic. Whatever it is you're going through right now, whatever you're dealing with, I hope everything's going okay for you. We're gonna stop here and check this mailbox, see if we got any ransom notes. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look like we got a some here and some here. Oh yeah, got a lot, Bill. Got a lot, Bill, my friends. Yep, got us a got us a Ori electric light bill. Got to pay the light bill. Bills, 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 left and right. Bills, bills, bills. Folks, it's gonna be another wonderful day. I tell you what, we're gonna make it wonderful. As I head out on my destination this morning. And just let me say that if this is the first time you've stumbled across my videos, allow me to introduce myself. I am Mr. Jimmy and I live over here in the Old Reed community, right smack dab in the middle of Old Reed County. Right along the upper right hand corner of South Carolina, along the east coast of the United States of America, on this big beautiful planet we call Earth. That's where I'd be at, my friends. Just living on this big earth with you. Well, anyway, folks, like I said, I'm Jester Jimmy. This is my YouTube channel. I just get on here and I make videos either of work, driving down the road, let you see a little what's construction going on in front of me, or whatever, you know, wherever I might be at. Sometimes I try to catch a clip, a video here and there. And in the morning time, like this right here, I do a talk video. This is my talk video. I usually do this about every morning. Not every morning, but I try to make one about every morning. Uh, there's some mornings that I don't make it, don't get it done. Or either I make a video, and then I, I realize that it might have had too much drama in it, or it had too much negative in it, and I usually would delete it. Because I just don't really want to spread drama or negative vibes. That's just who I am. I try to keep everybody, you know, hey, up and up. It's all smile. It's all be happy. It's all have a better day. So anyway, folks, we rolling strong this morning on my way to work. Yes, another day, another dollar. Time to make that KW holler. Kidding what the truck that is. And uh, I usually like to get on here in the morning times and talk about whatever's on the top of my head. Let's see, what's on the top of my head right now? Well, my glasses are up there. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know, because I don't really plan out my videos, I don't have a set production or schedule or anything, really. I just, I just push the record button and we start when I leave the house. So anyway, fans, friends, I let me see. What I've been thinking about here lately is life. And uh, dealing with life and being happy. Don't let other people destroy your happiness. Don't let other people bring you down. Don't let other people control your mood. <laughs> Just be happy. Folks, I got a lot going on in my life. I got a lot going on. I, I applied for a uh, Friday. Let me get it right. Friday, this past Friday, I applied for a passport. That's right, my friends. I applied for a passport because I've never been out of the country. Never been out of the country. And uh, so I... Uh, have applied for a passport and uh, 
you gotta be careful over here in this right lane early in the morning like this right here because people walk down to the side of the road i'm talking about on the pavement on the inside of the white line i know it's crazy gotta be careful you could be riding a bicycle because they don't wear white bright clothes they wear dark clothes just gotta be careful somebody got a friend of mine got hit while walking down the road anyway um I got a passport because, you know, I want to venture. I want to get, I want, I'm a 58 year old pirate. Never been out of the country, never been on an airplane, never been on a train. Anyway, I want to be able to just take off and go. And I figured since, you know, if I'm gonna do that, I might as well go ahead and get a passport also. You know, cause I've always dreamed of visiting the Philippines, uh, visiting Japan, vis vis visiting the Asian countries like Thailand, Hong Kong, uh, uh, Singapore, and all the Asian countries, you know, over overseas. Um, so I got me a passport, or I've applied for one. You know, I don't guarantee that you go get one. <laughs> I've applied for a passport, and that, that way, when the the time arises that I have a destination that I can travel outside the country, then hey, I'll be able to. So that's what's going on in my life. I'm excited that I finally broke down and got me a applied for a passport and it'll be good for 10 years i think it is i think it's 10 years and uh that'll be awesome because i figured 10 years i ought to be traveled enough by then i thought i figured 10 years i'll i'll be 68 in 10 years i don't think i'll be doing traveling at 10 at 68 years old so i'm a 58 year old pirate and i want to venture I may not even leave the country you never know you never know you never never know see that's the thing about with me you know you never can tell you never can tell I do procrastinate a lot I do put off things a lot and that's what I do but uh Anyway, that's what's going on in my life. I've applied for a passport, and I'm excited about that. First time doing stuff like that. Waited all this time. And uh, I think it's fantastic. Because you never know what lies ahead in this situation. You never know what lies ahead. <laughs> well, that's because you never know. You really don't know. You don't know day to day because you know you know how I always talk about if you watch my videos religiously, if you're a subscriber, and if you're not, you need to click that subscribe button, jump aboard. But I always say today is all I've got right now. I don't know what tomorrow brings. I don't know what tomorrow brings. I don't plan for tomorrow, but I did go get, apply for a, a, free, uh, a passport so that if the moment arises that I'm able to leave to go to another country to visit, I'll be able to. Because it takes eight ten twelve weeks to get a to get a uh, passport uh, approved and delivered back into your hands or back delivered to you so that's 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 why I went ahead and did it because I don't want to be a plan way ahead of time I, I want to go ahead and apply for it that way when it pops up and I get it in the mail I can then I can like the start start deciding I can start planning I can start 
thinking about what I want to do, if I want to do this or I want to do that, I'll be able to. So I am excited about that. Being able, being able to do something. So that's where I'm sitting at now. I know I'm trying to think of stuff to talk about. You know, I got much to talk about this morning. I apologize. A lot of mornings I'm like this, ain't it? But you got to think about it. This is morning time, early morning time here. Sometimes my brain just vapor locks. It just, it's just in auto mode. But that's the biggest thing I really got going on is I've got, I've applied for a passport and I'm waiting for it. Uh, so I guess I got a couple more months or whatever to wait for it. Which is actually a good thing because, you know, that way you're not trying to hurry and do something other without thinking or whatever. I don't know. Travel plans or stuff like that. I don't know. Anyways, that's, that's, that's it. Now, as far as anything else going on in my life, well, I just work every day. I get up, I shake the sleepy off, I get me a, a coffee pot ready, start making me some coffee, and I get my day started. I get my day started. Yep, I get my day started. Sorry about that, I stumble. I get a thought go through my head and it kind of floats right through. <laughs> but uh, what else is going on in Jimmy's world? What's going on in Mr. Jimmy's world? Let's see. Other than the passport thing, everything's going good. Um, I got a lot of things to take care of around the house fix this and fix that. It's always something. Always something. Um, thinking about uh, I ain't got much on my mind, I'm telling you. See how I am? Not a whole lot going on. I, I, I do want to give a shout out. I'm going to take this opportunity to say I want to give a shout out to each and every one of my subscribers appreciate you for supporting my channel and when I say support my channel I'm not meaning money I don't get paid for YouTube I don't get no money from YouTube making these videos is completely I do it for free I do it for enjoyment because I like videography I like taking pictures and videos and stuff like that um, I just don't have interesting things to take pictures and videos of so therefore my video my, my YouTube channel hasn't grown that much because it's just not that exciting. But if I can get a lot of people to subscribe, it will help promote the channel. And what I mean promote the channel is the more people I get subscribed to my channel, the more chances that my videos will show up in the, uh, what is it, the suggestion videos. You know, when you're looking at YouTube and you, and you scroll, and they'll be like, other videos on the side and this here and there and it's like you know you click this oh you might like this video that's the reason I try to get my subscribers up get enough subscribers and uh, view time also that's why just so I just want people to watch my videos I'm not here for a popularity reason I don't I, I'm not here to impress nobody I'm not here to, you know, do anything but hopefully to make somebody smile. Hope maybe that I can change somebody's mood that might be in a bad mood or might be looking down at life or might be and something other bothering them. Maybe if they hear me, maybe if they hear my thoughts and my my opinions on things or my suggestions, maybe, maybe by chance that they might feel the same way about something and it might brighten them up a little bit that hey you know it's always good to run into somebody who thinks the same way about certain things or you know it's just it's good i know i enjoy uh watching youtube also you know i watch videos i have people that i'm subscribed to i watch their videos and some of them 
you know, I, I just like to hear what they have to say about things, or I like to see the way they live their lives, or, you know, I'm, that's where I learn most of, most of my things, on talking to the camera and videoing. I learn by watching other videographies, or, I'm sorry, by watching other vloggers and bloggers, or whatever you call it. I think it's bloggers or blogger, bloggers. <laughs> I don't know the word. Um, it's, I watch them to learn how to try to make my videos a little bit more interesting, but I still slack at it. Now, there was a time where I was editing my videos a lot more. I was adding this, or I was adding that, or I was putting this, or I was putting that. You know, but after a while, you know, you just, my videos aren't that really all that mind-blowing. So, it's just simple stuff. So, most of my videos are raw cut. Um, I usually uh, video with a GoPro. And it got the word a GoPro. It's just, it's just so much of a hassle. Video with a GoPro because you have to take the video from the GoPro. You have to download it. Or you have to take the memory card. Then you have to download it onto your phone or computer or whatever you got. I use my phone. You use a computer. Then you got to download it to the phone. And it takes a while. And then you got to hope that you got enough space on your phone in order to download the video because YouTube, because GoPro, you know, you video in 4K or, you know, uh, 1080. But yeah, you got to make sure you got enough room on your phone to be able to download it. And then when you download it on your phone, then you go to try to edit it. Well, you got to have enough space on your phone to be able to edit it and reproduce the second copy of the, with the editing. And then you upload it to YouTube. That's just a whole lot of hassle for me. That's just, I just don't have the time to do all that. Now, if I had a large amount of subscribers and, you know, if I was making money on YouTube, hey, you know, I would do stuff like that. But I, I just, that's, that requires a lot of time. And I don't have a lot of time. Between work and social life, it's just, Lord, it's tough. And uh, so a lot of my videos are recorded with my phone, with my cell phone. It records fine, it's got a great picture, it's easy to do, and I can just boom and upload it. If I need to edit, you know, I'll put a title on it or whatever, it ain't that much trouble. And if you don't have enough room, you delete one thing or whatever, you got enough room. That way I can keep them, I can keep uploading them every, every chance I get. Plus it's easy to be able to live stream also if you use your phone. And that's just it. That's, that's, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I do a lot of my video, like right now, I'm videoing with my cell phone. My cell phone is up on the window mount every morning. I put it up on that mount and I drive to work. I push record. And voila, that's what we do. When I'm in the dump truck, when I'm in the big truck, when we rolling down the highway or we on the job sites, I got a window mount. I put it up on the window mount. Boom, I clicked, I pushed the, button, the power button. Boom, it's recording. Now, a lot, a lot of times, you know, my phone goes off, notifications or somebody calls or whatever, it will stop the video. It will, you know, and so a lot of times I'll be making a video and the whole video that I'll be trying to make or get boom because you know I'll get a call in the middle of the video and it'll stop the camera you know and then I'll be forgot all about the video and my conversation with somebody and then when I got off the phone all of it was oh I was recording something else so that's the downfalls of uh, using your cell phone to video but I do it anyway if a video gets interrupted halfway it just gets interrupted halfway and I just delete the video and I do it in there another time you know it's more important if I get a phone call from somebody you know and I try to I want to talk to them because I don't really talk to a whole lot of people I really don't I am a quiet person I don't talk to a whole lot of people and uh, I keep to myself most of the time it's just what I do 
But that's what I do. A video of my phone, just like I'm doing right now, going down the road. Plus, the phone seems to be able to pick up better color um, from the sky. It can pick up, you know, better colors of the area. And I like it. And it's simple. You just got to make sure you keep enough room on your phone to be able to do videos. Because you may want to take an hour video. I have done an hour video. I did one yesterday. Take an hour video. I think it was 108 minutes. Or maybe not 100. Maybe it was 68 minutes. I don't know what it was. I can't remember now. But anyway, it was a long video. And I uploaded it on my phone. With my phone. I actually had to delete a whole bunch of stuff on my phone in order to be able to edit the video because it was so long. Just to put a title on the front, the back, stamp my picture on it, all that, and then upload it. Uh, but I did. That's what I did. <sighs> so, I like using the phone. It's simple. It's easy to do. I can. It don't require a whole lot of my time uh, to be able to transfer videos from a clip here from a YouTube, I mean from a GoPro I don't know why I say YouTube every time I talk about my GoPro from my GoPro over to my phone to be able to upload it to because it's tough on a phone or a computer to upload 4K videos I don't know if anybody knows that but it is tough on the on them, it's tough for them to, I don't know it just is, it's what I was told because I'm no expert on anything so anyway, folks, that's that, that's it in a nutshell right there. I make a lot of my videos with my phone lately. Um, it's just easier, quicker, simpler. Hey, you see what the view looks like. Some of my older videos were on GoPro. And I still have my GoPro. I, I still want to use it, but... GoPros are probably good for action videos. Like, if you go... If you're going to get in a go-kart or a four-wheeler or something other or, or walking down the beach or running down the beach or any kind of action-wise, GoPro is perfect for it. It takes the impact. It makes the video. It stabilizes. It's a lot better. GoPro is an action video camera is what it is. It's an action camera, and it's great like that. So I, I still like my GoPro, and I will still video with it from time to time. When the opportunity arises but for now i'm just using my cell phone and making these simple videos that's what i'm doing folks that's the fleet of trucks right there that uh i drive the one to the far left and uh i like to circle around the trucks come up beside it Folks, if y'all got to be out and about on the highways and byways, do be safe and courteous and nice and do help somebody if you can. But always be positive. Stay positive, my friends. Sometimes it's all you need to get you through the day. And if you can't find a smile, share a smile. Brighten somebody's day because you don't know what they're going through. They could have just lost a loved one. They could have just got their heart broken by somebody you don't know what's going on in somebody's life so start with all the hating and the mean gestures and all that kind of stuff just be happy and share some smiles and folks by all means if you're not a subscriber please take the moment right there on the bottom right hand corner click on the subscribe button jump aboard my train i'd love to have you ride along with me through life see the adventures that we may find folks i love and care about each and every one of you i really do i really do i love you and until next time until next time my friends my family my loved ones all the people around the world up and up north in indiana and all the way around the world just remember that Jimmy loves you. Peace out, my friends.